Hello, I'm Negative Infinity, and here in my room we have quite a lot of stuff going on. Um, new life, death, and everything in between. Uh, so I will go ahead and I will go across to every plant and tell you what's been going on. So the first thing, this Veitchii, the formerly small basal shoot is quite large. In fact, if I can get a shot down to it, right there, it's quite large. And I'm actually uh, quite pleased with how it's been growing. And the mother plant is still growing as well. Uh, the Adelaide has died. That's an unfortunate thing. I've been watering it, but now I've stopped because I've been watering it for months and it didn't come back. And we had a little offshoot and it died, unfortunately. We have a pulling of my big mother plant, which is a Pinguicula gigante across Morinensis. The, uh... Northiana hasn't been doing much of anything at all. I mean, it's been keeping its leaves, which is good. Uh, it hasn't been pitchering. I'm hoping that this one will pitcher, but I am doubting it. Uh, onward to the Capensis and the Binata Multifida. The Binata Multifida is doing okay, I guess. Both of the Capensis are doing great. Um, the... Spotulato cross spectabilis is making a new pitcher, which is really good. The Elysii has also died, unfortunately, so I'm down to like two or three different species of sundew and some seeds that I haven't even planted yet. Uh, the Darusolata is flipping huge. We've got a pitcher here, a pitcher coming in here, and a pitcher coming in here. So it's getting big, and this is the mother plant, this little three-leaf looking thing. And then both of these are offshoots. They were basal shoots a few months ago, and they're already growing into massive plants. They're already big enough where they can have basal shoots of their own. That's how big they are. Uh, onward to the Miranda, which has a beautiful, beautiful picture on it and is doing quite well with four leaves instead of its normal two or three. Uh, unfortunately it dropped the last leaf, so otherwise it would be a five leaf. This thing never has too many leaves. I'm actually waiting on it to produce a basil, which I expect it to do soon. Um, and then we have Truncata. It's a beautiful pitcher. Uh, and it hasn't lost too many leaves, so we've got somewhere around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight leaves on this uh, truncata. And then over here we've got the Stilidium debile, which I've recently trimmed up. And there's quite a few little death points in there that you can probably see. And those are where I've tried to replant parts that I had to chop off of those big tall stems. Because I didn't want to keep those big tall stems around. They were falling all over the place. If they were tall and they would actually stay still and not flop over, I would have been very happy with that. But you know, can't win every battle. But yeah, the stilidiums are doing quite well. I actually need to do a repot, as you can see. Because they're coming out of the bottom. So that's not too great. But eventually I'm going to repot them. Uh, I think I'm going to repot them into here. The Adelaide's dish. But I need a lot more peat moss to do that, and eventually I will. Because you remember, this plant was just one small little plant with some flowers on it, and it's grown to take over the whole thing, the whole damn thing, and it's my biggest success story. Also, I forgot, um, this is a Venus flytrap, believe it or not. And actually, while we're on the subject of Venus flytraps, let's go and see if we can go to my other Venus flytraps in the house. You guys just saw my sarcinias yesterday. You guys just saw my sarcinias yesterday, so I'm not going to go outside. I'm just going on the stairs. You go see the three new spot traps I have down there. It is currently March. Uh, so once uh, March is over, I'm going to bring them outside. So around April bring them outside and they'll start waking up. So first we have the Akai Ryu. 
nothing much special. Soil's damp because I just watered it today. And that same goes for every other one. This is the uh, clumping cultivar. And the B52 Cross Burbank's Best. Uh, the B52 Cross Burbank's Best needs to be repotted. But other than that, there's not too many indoor plants that need going over. Everything is going well. Uh, all of the plants have been watered today. Pretty much every single one of them. Uh, except for the outdoor ones. Of which I have very few. And the few that I do have are these arsenias. And they are perfectly fine with the little bits of water that they get from the rain for now. But anyhow, there's not much happening, so until next time, uh, 4387 out, peace.